I'm Jane Lunnan with the Ashe County Arts Council in West Jefferson and I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. I'm really excited to have a guest with me today. I want to welcome to the show James Wood. Hello James. James, welcome. James is also better known over in Ashe County way as Dog, and that's D-A-W-G, right? Right. And James was telling me before the show that the genesis of his nickname came from uh, growing up in Georgia, <laughs> and I guess those Georgia Bulldogs, and when he was in the military and everybody had their handful and their nickname. So Dog has been around for a long time. Right. And Dog, have, have you been painting a long time, I guess, is, is one of my first questions. No, actually, I haven't. Um, the actual painting started, um, I started out with pen and ink. And, um, uh, and, it's, and it's grown from there. Right. James, James is one of the 2015 Regional Artist Project Grant Award winners, and that's a wonderful, uh, wonderful award, and we're, we're so happy for you. That award is part of the Ash, Watauga, Allegheny, and Wilkes County Arts Council's project that makes monetary awards or grants to individual artists to help them um, move from one level of professionalism to another, and that's certainly what Dog has done. Your grant was to buy materials and supplies. Right, correct. And tell us a little bit about the style of art that you do and, and the new body of work that you're going to be creating. Well, that, it's, it, it's slowly more from small things, uh, images and, and drawings and things, to these paintings and stuff with uh, acrylic and pens, but it's a narrative folk art style as best I can describe it. Um, I really have had a hard time describing what my stuff is, but I do try to illustrate things of, the, uh, of Appalachia and, and um, uh, things of times gone by and add a little humor to it. Um, I use mixed media. Um, I paint on everything from traditional art boards uh, to mat board to uh, paper bags or pokes as I call it and barn tin, uh, different types of media are used in my stuff, and so I, I kind of mix it up a lot. So you're, you're sort of one of the original recyclers in terms <laughs> of, of found materials, and, and, and sometimes that particular background or, or piece of material, I imagine, sort of shapes the work that you do. It does. And it does. one of the neat things about Dog's work is, is that it really does tell a story. The, your, your works are very narrative. There's lots and lots of detail. In, in the works, lots of Appalachian, lots of mountain culture Correct. contained. Right. Um, and, and lots and lots of color. Yeah, um, I like the color. Yeah, it's great. Well, something big and exciting has happened with you, and that's the opening of your new art gallery. Yes, ma'am, that's right. Isn't that great? Yep. Downtown West Jefferson has, right. I guess, Dog, you're our newest art gallery. And, and <laughs> tell, tell the viewers the name of your gallery. Well, it's... Uh, my little business is, is old dog art, but I call the uh, little studio there, it's called the Dog Lot. The Dog Lot. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm currently out of the dog business, but um, I've been in it for quite a few years. Well, this is going to be a great, wonderful, ongoing public venue for people to be able to see your work, to be able to see, to see you work, and to watch the process of how you create these, these narrative, wonderful, wonderful legacy paintings. Um, the, the dog lot is located in the historic old hotel building in downtown West Jefferson. I guess the entrance is right there on the back street. Right. I, I guess they consider that actually the old main street, or it's actually located off main street, but that would be the back street opposite where people think that the main street is. It's <laughs> kind of confusing. And it's on the second floor. Right. And once you get to downtown West Jefferson, it's pretty easy to find. It's right. above the, the Hotel Tavern. So your gallery hours will be regular? Um, well, or primarily... Or catch as catch can? Yeah, uh, primarily Friday, uh, Saturday, and, and maybe Sunday. We'll see how that goes. But um, uh, primarily Friday and Saturday right now as, as I work um, Great. caretaking right now during the week. Okay, and, and you'll definitely be a part of the upcoming gallery crawls. That will be the second Friday um, starting in June, June through October, and then our big Christmas crawl. So folks will have a chance to, to visit during the gallery crawls. And then the Arts Council is also sponsoring something new this year, and it's a studio tour uh, that will feature 18 artist studios that will be open on Saturday, August 1st. And, Dog, you're going to be a part of that as well. That's right. So we've got lots of op upcoming opportunities to, for folks to meet you and to see your work. 
to hear the stories behind your work. And um, congratulations on the grant. We're, we're excited to have, have you as a part of the official art scene in downtown West Jefferson. Well, I'm excited too. I appreciate that. Anything in closing that you'd like to, to share with the viewers uh, about your work? We're going to uh, be showing them snippets of, of a lot of your paintings uh, throughout this interview. And they'll get to see sort of up close the stories and the color behind them. Yeah, uh, well, outside the color there, you'll get to see the... Uh, a little bit of the humor that goes along with it. I try to represent our culture in a positive way. I mean, you know, realistically, I mean, uh, I'm just an old country boy myself. But um, you'll see different things in there that are actually historical, maybe, and, and that, that, for example, the uh, the old timey bear trap, which is a, a crazy thing, but that's or a poor man's bear trap, as they call it. Uh, it was used at one time. Uh, I would not dare use that, but then. It, like the Shatley Springs uh, painting there, there's never been a baptism as far as I'm concerned there, but that's a famous restaurant there, and their, their springs are very well known and famous all over the country. And um, I tell a picture of when I was a boy uh, of my grandfather, uh, when I was 10 or 11 years old, uh, him killing a big rattlesnake down at uh, Lake Weiss in Alabama. And then, of course, I've got the, the big uh, image of the uh, parody of the Paddle Faster, our version of it. Uh, I play music. And uh, when we hear banjo music, we go to it. Whereas a lot of the, the tourists that come up here, they wear the shirts and the hats that say Paddle Faster. They're going the opposite way. So. <laughs> and speaking of your music, uh, that happens every Friday night at the, the Phipps General Store. Right. A uh, great gathering spot for traditional music musicians from all around uh, the high country area. And another place that you can see dog art. Uh, right. The, the artwork of James Wood, known as Dog. So. <laughs> That's a snippet of one of the artists in Ashe County, uh, one of the newest gallery owners in downtown West Jefferson, the dog lot, artist James Wood. James, thank you so much for being on the show and for showing your, your wonderful, intriguing uh, cultural works with, with our viewers. Well, thank if, you, James. If you need more information about contacting James or, or dog, uh, you can check out uh, information from the Arts Council. Our phone number is 336-846. 2787. You can check out more information about uh, the gallery crawls, the galleries, and all the arts happenings on the website ashcountyarts.org. We look forward to seeing you downtown West Jefferson's Arts District.